Hi, I'm here with Stan Taffel, the one and only Stan Taffel, who's done so much for the uh, entertainment community in general and certainly the classic, uh, classic cinema community. So tell us about what's going on here, Stan, in this wonderful uh, film festival and Cinecon that you put on every year. You, you donate so much of your time and your effort. First of all, you're very kind, Herbie, and you donate a lot of your time too. 30 years of writing terrific books. Oh, thank you. Cinecon is an annual film festival that we hold right here in Hollywood. It's been in Hollywood for the last 20 something years. It's an amazing time to meet friends yearly, watch rare films in 35 millimeter. And it's not the film festival that you go to see Gone with the Wind or The Wizard of Oz, great movies, Casablanca. But when you come to Cinecon, you're going to see films with some of those stars in lesser known films. And part of our mission at Cinecon is to bring some of these films out of the archives and into the public view once again. Thank God yeah, that you do that. And everyone here at uh, this wonderful event every year and everyone throughout the universe of, of, of everything that ever mattered in uh, cinema or even on uh, television. I think it's a fun thing to do, especially when you have the actors, the performers, as we have had come see their films or, or television programs. And sadly, as life does its thing, we've lost so many of them. But it's nice to know that they came here and saw a film that they did that they hadn't maybe ever seen before. But what drives you? What drives you to do it? I am a real firm believer in that people want to be remembered for what they did in life and one of the few things that you can do that for is an entertainer you know they could make a movie when they were 18 years old and if they live a very good and long life they should be remembered for what they did and they should know that people loved what they did and they should be acclaimed for it so when we run films for some of these people it's it's an amazing feeling let me tell you a couple of stories and I'll try to make them quick one year, we honored Eddie Albert. Everybody remembers him from Green Acres. Certainly you have talked about Green Acres and that cast. Well, Eddie Albert was here, and it was toward the end of his life. He was almost totally deaf, and, and he was having issues with remaining in the moment, you know, the affirmities of old age. And when we gave him his award, he broke down in tears at the Egyptian theater, and I was sitting in the front row watching that, and what he said, which I never forgot, was when he said, I don't get around much anymore. I don't remember as much as I do, but the fact that you remembered me makes it all worthwhile. And then I remembered that we've had other celebrities come. Uh, for instance, we had um, Marsha Hunt come a couple years ago, and we showed a movie that she was in with Marilyn Nolden, who was a child. And uh, at the end of the film, I interviewed her briefly, and she just said, I remember making this movie. I've never seen it. I thought it was lost. Where did you find it? And then I was able to single out a person in the audience who was a restorationist who did the work on preserving it. And they had a wonderful conversation afterwards. So that's why we do the Cinecon. For the passion, for the love of the film. And so these people who at one point will not be with us anymore will know that before they leave, they made a difference. And also for the future of uh, who will, you know, the future people who've never seen the movies at all. You are uh, just uh, keeping that legacy alive. Thanks so much, Stan, for all you do, truly. And you, right back at you, sir.